Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, I had the bedroom or bedroom in our new apartment really tidy for a shoot I'm doing, so I'm gonna do a little impromptu mini tour. It's not fully finished like at all. I still have a few bits to add in, some more art, um, maybe some plants or something. I don't know, it's still not finished, but I figured I'd just show you where we're at and I can link everything down below because I know there's been some questions in my other videos, so let's get right into it. Also, I used a website called Havenly. I've actually used them for nearly all my apartments um, when we moved in and they really help you like get your ideas on paper as such. So they helped me kind of design the room and like where I was supposed to put things and it was super easy to use and really helpful. So I really recommend it. I'll leave a link down below in case any of you are like struggling <laughs> with interiors, which I know can be so confusing and just like stressful. And even if you have a, a room half done, but want to help finishing it, like they're really good. So I'll link it down below for you. Okay, so let's just start off on this side. So these nightstands actually, which I am so obsessed with, we got these randomly on Facebook Market. They're vintage. I literally was on one day. I was like, oh my God, they're perfect. Because I was looking online everywhere for just like plain cream nightstands and like CB2 and all those places have them, but the wait time is so long. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Joey. <laughs> Did you see him coming in there? Kind of. <laughs> Um, okay, so then the lamps and the bed are from a store called Raymer and Flanagan here in New York. I've actually always got stuff from them. I think in all of my apartments since I've moved here. They're really nice. I love this like kind of marble effect and then just the plain white, very huge. This book is just from Amazon. It's, you know, I swoon. I love her, her interiors. So then moving on to the bed, most of the bedding is from Allswell. The duvet, the quilt, um, the pillows, the pillowcases, I love their bedding, so I can link all that below. And then these throw pillows, I adore too. They're from a brand called Ariana Bell Pillows. Um, I had them in the last apartment. I sometimes just do these three. I don't put the two accent ones in, but I do like them together too. I think they go really nicely. And then the bed is also from Raymore and Fanagan. And guys, this bed, hands down, my favorite bed I've ever had. I looked online for so long for a plain, neutral kind of linen style bed, and this was by far the best. The best pricing, the best shipping time. I think it's four to six weeks, which is really good in the in today's world when it comes to furniture. And then our mattress is also from um, Raymer and Flanagan, so I'll link everything down below. Really, really good. It's king size, literally huge. Like, <laughs> tell me there's so much space. In between us okay then the rug is from west elm i will say about this this shed for three months solid like i'm not joking like everything came off it for three months but it's finally after settling i think the price is good um i needed a big rug in here i think it's a nine by 13 i think i'll double check that for you and they can be really expensive it's, it's actually quite a big bedroom for new york so i thought this was like the best value it was on sale at the time so i link it below but beware it sheds and it's a bit annoying at the beginning but as far as like plain cream big rugs go it's good okay and then over here we have just a very simple plain dresser this is actually also from raymond flanagan i wanted just something really plain like i want this bedroom overall the vibe to be really zen really calm like everything very nice and simple so we got this it fits so much i have all my underwear my sports gear i have all my jewelry organized in here i'll pop in some cutaways so you can see and i can link all these cream organizers down below i really love them like sunglasses jewelry they're perfect then i still need to kind of like style up the top of it i haven't really fully decided what i want to put here obviously we have the tv and it, it feels a little bit black on black at the moment but we had this tv from the last apartment and I didn't want to put it to waste, so I put that there for now, but I might actually upgrade it to a Samsung frame down the line. We have it in our living room, and I think personally they're worth the money because they look like art when they're not on. So I think that would be nicer above the black. And then I actually might switch out the handles on the dresser as well to something a bit lighter, so that it would tie in to the rest of the bedroom a bit more too. So it's kind of a work in progress, but I really recommend this dresser. And then really quickly, our mirror. I think it needs a bit of a clean, actually, now that I look at it. But this is from our old apartment as well. I've actually had this in the last two apartments. It's from CB2. They do this the whole time. It's just a really handy one. So that's that. And then over on this side, 
We have, not very exciting, but just my laundry basket. <laughs> I got this on Amazon, it's a good one, it fits a lot. And then I also have this little accent chair from Target. The curtains are from Pottery Barn. I just wanted something really plain and simple and like linen. I like a linen curtain, like they, they leave in a little bit of light, but then at night time, they do like make the place dark, which I like for sleeping. So I might actually add in a second panel on each side because I think this window actually needs it. But for now, we just have one panel on each side and they're very nice. They're a little bit on the pricey side. So if I can find similar ones, I'll link them down below as well. But if you do want to invest into the Pottery Barn ones, I'll, I'll link that too. And then this art, actually one of my followers made this for me we had it in our living room i'll pop in a picture in our last apartment and i just love it i originally was thinking it might actually go in our living room but i didn't have anything for the bedroom yet so i put it here for now i think it ties in really nicely and then if i do end up switching it up in here i can just move it into our living room because the colors will will match but it's so nice i'll leave her instagram handle down below definitely check her out she does custom art and custom paintings and i love it Okay, and then this is one of the closets I have. I actually just did a huge clear out, so we have loads of empty space, which I love to see. Um, I just added in a second rail, and I actually added in these shelves as well for my shoes, which work out really well. So that's one of my closets. And then my other closet is here. This one's kind of messy at the moment. It's not perfect, so I'm not gonna show you too much. But again, I did a clear out, so I have lots of free space. This is like my dresses closet and like fancy stuff and then I have my bags which I kind of need to find a better way to do that one shouldn't be there I just got these little dividers but I want to make this prettier I might add in other shelves and stuff but yeah it's good for now it's functional and we also have an ensuite which is really nice our first time having that I'm telling you in New York like when you get small little luxuries it means a lot so I won't show you that too much because it's kind of boring but it's just like a black and white black tiles and we just have like white accessories so yeah that is our bedroom work in progress as i said but we're getting there and i just really love this bedroom i feel like the living room in this new place gets all the attention but i just love how the bedroom is coming together it's so zen at night time it's so cozy like i'll try and pop in a cutaway of it at night time too so you can see it's it's my favorite place in the apartment at night time um, in the evening I come in here I watch TV or read my book and it's just so nice so hopefully you enjoyed seeing it I'll keep you updated on if I switch things out or add things in or do any more DIY and if you have any questions let me know I'll link everything down below be sure to subscribe to my channel I have loads more interiors content coming give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one bye